here at 5 o'clock, the founder of a Houston music festival fighting back after cutting ties with the event. The move coming after Omar Afra was accused of sexual misconduct. He spoke with investigator Robert Arnold about the allegations. Robert is joining us live in Montrose for more on the story now. Robert. These accusations came to light over the weekend. Today, the man who was the target of these allegations is hitting back, even as petitions are being circulated online against him. Publisher of Free Press Houston and founder of the annual Day for Night Festival, Omar Afra has been a constant in Houston's music scene for several years. He has now been accused by two women of sexual assault. Both say they were offered work by Afra. It's disheartening that I've worked 15 years on a business uh, or businesses and that they can be thrown in the garbage um, this quickly over false allegations. Two women put their accusations on Facebook by posting the affidavits they filed. The women also filed complaints with police. One woman posted screen grabs of exchanges via text between she and Afra. In the text, the woman tells Afra she felt violated and afraid when he grabbed and kissed her. Attempting to kiss somebody and being rebuffed does not constitute sexual assault. Still, the text exchange reads Afra apologized. I genuinely felt like I shouldn't have made her feel uncomfortable, right? A second woman claims Afra groped her. He vehemently denies this second accusation. It wouldn't make sense to apologize to somebody who who came on to me and I rebuffed. Shortly after the allegations came to light, festival creditors severed ties with Afra. A petition on change.org is asking other organizations to cut ties with him as well, and it's generated hundreds of signatures. There is also a forum now on Google asking other women to come forward. Now, Afra claims that the complaint filed with police was closed. We reached out to HPD and have not yet received a response on the status of those complaints. As soon as we do, we will update our story. We also reached out to the two women making these accusations. One stated that what is online stands is her statement. The other woman has not yet responded to our request for comment. Reporting live from Montrose, Robert Arnold, KPRC, Channel 2 News.